half inch rise with pullback. Beautifully machined. Beautiful, really quality. Yep, yep. Good morning. This beautiful packaging is what's gonna be on my bike now. So if you know, one of the things that the Lowrider ST comes with is the seating position is not ideal for, for me. Mid controls, which that was purposely done because they wanna give you a more sporty stance, but it's very uncomfortable for anybody over the age of 41 and a half, and I'm over the age of 41 and a half. So that's the first thing I did. Second thing is the combination of risers and handlebars on this bike. Uh, there's not enough pullback. Uh, the bike, when you sit on the bike, it's pretty much you're sitting very straight and even leaning forward. Initially, when I got the bike, it's the first thing I did. I went to Bunking, purchased a six and a half inch riser with a two inch pullback because I wanted uh, to get it uh, closer to me, the handlebars, and I used the standard handlebars. And that's the install I did. I was hoping that with the six and a half, and with the six and a half, that's what you can do. You can actually avoid putting new brake lines, new throttle cable, new uh, instrument uh, gauges, extension, and even the clutch cable. You can all, you can work within stock. You don't have to replace anything. So I, th I was thinking, okay, a little uh, rise and pullback will be enough and sufficient. I was riding like that for a year and still I'm missing an inch and a half, two inches. Yeah, you guys make uh, jokes on in the comments of yeah, I'm missing two inches, I know. Today, what I'm installing, I've realized, and I tested this, con this configuration with somebody else's bike. The Thrashin' nine and a half inch rise with pullback, beautifully machined. Beautiful, really quality. You pay for quality, okay? It's not cheap, it's not expensive, but it's just very high quality. Very, very high quality. So I got that. I'm gonna be installing it with their high bend rise, uh, high, high bend bars that you'll see very soon. Riding over to Mike's from Tour Custom Cycles. And we're gonna do the install over there. Stay tuned, this is what this video is all about. <laughs> Mike uh, at Tour Custom Cycles. Does he have a sign up? Yeah, he does already. Nice, very cool. About to start the job and then life happened to me. I get home and my wife says, oh yeah, you need to drive, drive our daughter to a uh, camp, like a Girl Scout camp. And you only have four hours for the install. I said, what? Yo. Come on, people working here. <laughs> and uh, so, and he says, Mike says, no way, it's about an eight hour job because we're doing, it's not what I thought, we're doing way more. We're literally, we have to move the exhaust because to get to a new clutch, a clutch cable that Mike guide, uh, Mike got me a nice one, which it's made of what? It's a, uh, it's a tinted, stain. it's not like a tinted braided. A braided, tinted, nice colored, new, bra uh, new uh, clutch cable. So to get into the, cover over here we have to take the pipe off and then we have to bleed the brakes duh i didn't i didn't remember that also. so we're doing new lower new lowers oh my god a lot of stuff a lot of stuff gotta do a lot a lot of stuff that's new upper it. new lowers all in black it's called black pearl black from pearl. magnum nice so a lot of work to be done that that i didn't really expect i thought like oh yeah four hours yeah i can do that in like two hours but no it's a, it's a it's a longer job so I'm gonna leave uh, here and come back uh, on a different date. So, you but today is finally the day. This is what it looks like before I got the the risers and the handlebars installed right there. And by the end of the day, you're gonna see what it looks like after going over to Tour Custom Cycle. And I'm excited. I've been waiting for the parts. I've been waiting for the timing, scheduling, everything. Let's ride along. <laughs> Bike is on the surgery table. 
It'll start working. The whole area is going to be transformed. What are we doing today? We are new. finally putting your new bar and right. riser set up on. Right. And what do we need to do for that besides the bars and uh, the bar and risers? What do we? So Obviously, gonna, everything on the controls comes yeah, off. We're going to pull the seat. We're going to pull the tank. All the cables come down and route and plug in under the tank. Okay. In the frame. Okay. So I'm going to pull the tank and seat, and then we'll start taking off all your things on your handlebars. You also said something that I need to take uh, we're gonna the, pull the, the exhaust off. Yeah. So Why? Because the cables we ordered. Yeah. For you, for the longer. The nicer, longer everything. cables. Right. So this cable. Go straight into your. Oh, the clutch, the clutch plate, the clutch cable, which is right. longer. Mm -hmm. Oh, goes in here, and then right. we need to pull uh, the exo to get access to this cover. Like I can get to, the, I'm, I can't get to those two bottom bolts. Ah, uh, okay. So we're gonna have to pull the exhaust up, just right. easy. Yeah. So we're able to get the cable. We may be able to loosen the bracket, loosen them, and swing it up. Got you. Just to get the. All I gotta do is get the cover off. Got you. And then you're getting rid of that Harley adjuster. That plastic adjuster, we're oh, going okay. going with a nice cable nice. adjuster, or okay. metal adjuster. We're doing all new brake lines, junction yeah. block down to the calipers. Yeah. Is it is it required to do new brake lines, the lowers? It's not, but it comes in the kit. Part of the kit, and they, all, the, and they all match. They all match, okay. I'll have a list below where you can see all the all the parts that we used over here and uh, where you can actually uh, buy them. Thrashing, high bend bar. Nine and a half uh, with a pullback. Nine and a half. Nine and a half Nine to the center of the bar. There you go. Oh, and uh, while we're at it, I decided I'm gonna put heated grips from Harley Davidson. Finally, all these years I never had heated grips. It's summer now, but I'll have it in a few months for our road trip. I'll take this off as well. Seat is off. Yeah, but I should have known you have a strong, very strong uh, hex. Take that little boot off, huh? <laughs> what is it's supposed to be connected to that. Oh, yeah, I broke it then. So I did the install, the previous <laughs> install. Uh, what are we disconnecting, by the way? Uh, hand controls, turn signals, throttle, gauges, throttle by wire, throttle, gauge, everything. Everything that comes from, uh, from, from the, the handlebars. Yep. That whole thing, just follow the wires that come from here and disconnect them. Yeah, well, this is that's ABS, so we're gonna leave that. This is, this is the speed up. The dude is fancy, he's got Whole Food bags and and an air watch, whatever you call that watch, air Apple watch. watch. I don't even know those, I don't even have that. I have a Psycho 5. Yeah, he doesn't have it. This guy flies planes, you know yeah, that. you got an air watch. You need help, something? Yeah, just hold this, if you don't mind. See, I'm working as well. well Bar bars are off. For the cruise deck, we're just counting. Bunking, six and a half inch, if anybody wants, give me, uh, give me a call. Email below. Six and a half pullback. Worked for me on 510. Uh, it was actually not, didn't work for me. I just needed a little bit more. But if you're into it, six and a half inch, the advantage is that you don't need to change all the wiring, the cabling. It works on six. Stock wire, stock cable, stock everything. Here are the two handlebars, one stock. This is the high bend bar compared to the stock. Notice how, uh, how uh, narrower it actually is than the stock and uh, how they drop, they drop the curve. There's a bigger curve right here on the top compared to the stock. Tearing apart, uh, tearing a bike apart is so much easier. Than putting it back together? So, yeah. <laughs> Listen, they have actually, I've seen them putting special bushings, not stock bushings. I don't see the point. Could have bought it. They say uh, they have, it's more rigid with them, right? The, the, the ones they make are more rigid without, without rubber bushings so or whatever. More. But um, yeah, you can put, these have, so these have rubber. Um, this will give you a little comfort on your hands because right. it'll absorb some of the vibration. Right. But the solid bushings, the bars don't move. They're, gotcha. you know. Firm. Yeah, I think 
if you if it moves too much for you, then we'll change it. If you don't it. like it, we can change it out the sauce. Easy. That's the easy part. Yeah, actually. That's, that's not hard. We're going with uh, stock using the OEM. Big change. Yeah, and look at the machining. I love the I love the the machining on this thing. So all I'm going to do here is just snug these. Just a dry fit. Well, so you get the. I'll be able to then position it. I'll probably. be able to tighten the bottom right, right. without this thing turning. Got you. Now it's one piece. This is not an Amazon Prime commercial, Andy. Just repurposing uh, some bags of here because the hand guards, the carbon fiber hand guards, were dangling all over the place, and I was afraid they're going to be scratched. So. Show you the difference between oh this is heavy. Got like three, four inches over there. Three inches. Yeah, there's a dress code. Up, saddle up and figure out. Good now. Yeah, yeah, because I want, like if I pull, pull them up, it, 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 it takes me. Uh, taking apart all the uh, cables, all the wiring that goes through the, through the old handlebars, I'm gonna be uh, putting it in through the, the new ones. Wait, we have to take them off anyway. You're gonna go, do, you do it through? Straight bars like this, I, I always do them on the bike. Through, okay. Because we set it up properly. Did you tighten it yet or not yet? It, no, it's not fully tight. Okay. I didn't torque it. Okay. Snaking it from here. So he's got a friend. Here. And then we're gonna pull it in through here with that. Anyway, while I was on my phone doing personal business, Mike was able to get uh, the heated grip onto the left side, snaked it in through, and it's nicely seated over here. And then the left side, I mean the right side, throttle side now. Snaking that in. Halfway there. I got the cap. My hands in the winter. Now working the brake line, got to have a longer brake line. We actually got one. Exhaust, exhaust. I'm gonna either take the pipe off the headers or try, try to that. try to move it towards yeah. us so we get access to the bolts over here on the bottom for the cover for the clutch plate cover. Sabrina. Now we can get into here. Transmission fuel is coming out. Do we need to take the is it in the fluid or it's in the engine? We did, I guess you and I. If you're gonna do it yourself, uh, you don't have to change the clutch, the whole clutch cable. There's actually extension kits where you can use the stock so we don't need to go through whatever we went. Simply a longer sleeve and this part extends, extend the, extends the clutch 
a cable by like four inches? They come in four, six, and eight. Four, six, and eight. So then you don't have to go through. You can still use your original and the original part over there, but the in between, that's where that uh, extension comes in. In our case, we're gonna do, uh, we got the whole kit that includes all the wires for everything. So we're gonna a whole uh, new one piece from here all the way up. For my there you go. <laughs> no need for a hammer. Oh, ball. Yeah. The balls from the just one plate. So that's where it extends over here. Yep. Gotcha. Yeah, this yellow piece comes out and then the black one comes out. What's that rubber? Yeah, very specific. They're gaskets cleaners. They don't wipe, they don't take away material. Gotcha. Hold that if you don't mind. Okay, thank you. No, but this isn't good. What are you doing? Cleaning the threads, cleaning all the old Loctite off. Yes. You know, he does paint work and look what we found when we pulled the drain plug out out of the transmission Harley part original no magnet the magnet is traveling somewhere inside my transmission well, in the pan, in the pan. Stuck so in the pan. stuck in the pan somewhere what do you guys think is it, is it gonna cause any problems in the future uh, I don't think so out when yeah you're doing a probably in one of the probably one of the oil changes it's probably we somewhere over there so we got a replacement one right there new and improved i know figurati designs put out uh, a magnetic drip stick dipstick i'm waiting for them to come out with a dipstick uh, for a dipstick for the soft tail yeah because it's I've, pretty cool i've touring seen one is great what the touring one is great yeah i mean i've seen john's video and he, sh he actually showed uh, was it John's? Yeah, John put out a video and it was like so many shreds of uh, dust, like metal dust. But that's great. It tarnishes the oil and it, you know, so it's good. With an easy, an easy dip in and out, you get a lot of uh, all these shreds and pieces of metal out. You know, if they have the same thing for the, I know they're working on one. Soft tail, yeah, that's why I said stay tuned. Completely. Yeah, you're high up. Maybe that's why. Yeah. So the old brake line, 
is out and now the new one is going in. The bolt is on this side if you need it. Okay. Yeah, up. There are no crush bolts on this end. No, these are compression. Uh, not compression, I forgot that. These are flares. These are flare fittings. So the more you tighten it, the more it... Uh, yeah, so the end of the line actually has a flare out. Yeah, so it don't get And you. where it goes into has a point. So the flare, you know, presses up against it. Mm. Pretty much like gas, like gas uh, lines. Yeah. I think gas are called compression fittings, though. But I don't fix houses. Okay. Oh, on both sides, gotcha. Both sides. These are your ceiling washers. They're made of copper. They crush. A crush washers. Okay. These are banjo bolts. Oh yeah, the spray fluid comes down through that hole. Right. And it'll enter the hole and come out got the center to apply to. So the bolt itself is part of the lining. Yep. There's liquid uh, fluid going through the bolt. Right. That's what they call them, banjo bolts? Banjo bolt. Eighteen? What was 19. it? Nineteen. Yeah, that's what it showed. Perfecto. Now we're dealing with all the little uh, extensions over here from, uh, from the handlebars to the, to the bike itself. The kit that we have uh, in the link down below has all, the, all these short extensions needed for the extra length, extra height that we went up. What are we bleeding? Yep. A little suction over there. A little suction action. There you go. Just watch, watch the top. Huh? How does it look? So I'm saying it's gonna go down. Yeah, it's almost completely down. Bleeding all the air out. Now once we bleed it, he might bleed it both sides. Now we connect the ABS. Computer, apparently. And then these bikes, you see how it's tilted? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put it on its side, on this, on this, kickstand, so right. that it levels off, got it. added at the end. Gotcha. Got to run through the uh, bit and software to uh, ABS service. So, clicking uh, all kinds of buttons over here, and you can hear the actually the ABS motor working. There's a sequence you run through, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. We're almost there. Ah, this is exciting. It looks really badass. Up till now, I can't wait. The last uh, few items going on, then we're gonna do uh, the adjustments. You know, the handlebar where they sit, uh, forward, backward, stuff like that. Then tightening these bolts because it's slightly twisted. It's a little bit twisted, so we're gonna figure all that out tank and then I'll ride it home I'll show you the after comparison like you, you always like I just missed that shot guys can you can you uh, lift it again I'm kidding <laughs> are we doing it <laughs> no 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 <laughs> there I try to keep it real you know so I missed it I missed it but did you get the bottoms already the the little plugs 
Well, no, we're gonna so we're gonna put the top bolt in. Oh, I got you. So when we rock it up, oh. we don't. That doesn't happen. Oh, okay, I got you. There. Okay. Go 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 go. Four. High. You gotta go high with it. More, 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 more. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay. Good. Start bringing it down. Okay, bring oh, it it's three. Three, 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 three that need yeah. to be. Break down a little more. That's it. That's a breather. And, and that's the, the that's the actual fuel, fuel cock pet cock. It used to be pet cock. Yeah. yeah. That's the pump. That's a quick release line that heads into the fuel cock. Get the 916 or whatever. Okay, just so you know, for the low rider ST, if you're going to put heat, heated grips, just buying the heated grips is not enough. There's actually a part, an adapter that you need right there. It's part number 69201750. That is a kit to give power to the heated grips. So it goes under the tank. There's that silly box where the uh, horn is connected. Inside there, there's, a, there's an outlet, so you need to split it. That kit over there splits it so you can get one going towards uh, the heated gear. I didn't, they, nobody told me in Harley that I need that. So we're gonna order it. It's back order right now. For now, we just stuck that cable in that vicinity. So it's summer anyway, we don't need it right now. So once we get it, it's gonna be a short install of uh, splitting that, uh, that outlet and putting power to the heated grips. So make sure if you're gonna put heated grips, you gotta get the heated grips and that part number. Now what's that? That's the adjustment for the... Uh, yeah, for the clutch. Okay, not related at all. My kickstand spring uh, was probably, I, not probably, is bent when once I uh, actually used a flat, a flat jack, <laughs> a flat jack at home. So you see how it's bent right there? And it was, it was dangling, so I got one. Mike is gonna replace this one. Yeah, definitely need a new one. Yeah, full day, full day, day for a kickstand. And he's got a bad kickstand. I didn't do that. Look, your shaft is back. I didn't do that. Look, your shaft is back. I, when I came into the shop today, no, was, it wasn't, when I came into the shop to, today, it was straight. <laughs> We're almost done, huh? Now you just need to clean and wash the bike. Ryan! <laughs> Possibly talk off your brake Yep, yep. Gotta make sure they're good. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Yep. He's looking at Johnson. How do you just do that? They just spun because okay. now I'm going to get in there with a wrench and you're going to hold them. This way. Lock it and now turn them. Oh, I got you. That's. It'll skip on the rubber bushing. It'll snap back. So as you do it, it'll snap back. So is it straighter? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, now it's good. So, all right, then I'll get the wrench. I'll tighten them up then. I got you while you're. Okay, I got it. When you got solid bushing, you can't do that. <coughs> Uh, connected devices uh -huh. or paired devices. So when you get the RC okay, well. so Mike is saying that some of these mm -hmm. very nice. Very nice. What are you all to do is it's when it's uh So you see this line here? Yeah yeah. That's your low line. Right. See it's all the way above oh, gotcha. it when I shook it. Gotcha. I hear him coming. What do you say? Really comfortable. Nice, huh? Comfortable. Yeah, I think you're gonna really like it. Yeah. Before I ride home, you want to tell people how they can find you on Instagram and Torque Custom Cycles. They can find me at 221 Gracie Place in Hackensack, New Jersey. 201-880-6440. So you can either call up, reach out, or send a DM.
through Instagram. And they always answer that, I can tell you that for sure. Okay, thank you very much, Mikey. Thank you All so right. much.